Hi, I'm Jai from BenQ Australia. As millennials enter the workplace, we find more people bring their own devices to work. Because they're always connected, an organisation who embraces this BYOD culture further boosts productivity by allowing their employees to use work applications on their own device. What this means is, is that those employees can complete work tasks more efficiently and more conveniently. Designed with the modern office in mind, BenQ RP Series interactive flat panels offer best-in-class tools for collaborative corporate meetings. The EasyWrite annotation app, combined with NFC Pen, allow you to quickly take notes and idea share. Also, Cloud Whiteboard allows you to team up with people and share these ideas in real time all around the world. With BenQ RP Series interactive flat panels come in a large range of sizes, from 65 inch to 75 inch to 86 inch screens. They also come equipped with 7H tempered glass, so you can be sure that it's a strong and robust design for your meeting experience. With BenQ's own unique design philosophy, you can rest assured that this design stands out from the rest. Great evidence of this is our very own unique soundbar, which delivers custom superior audio meaning there's no need to add external devices for audio quality. Sitting on top of our soundbar is our pen tray, which means your annotation tools are never too far out of reach. At the front of our soundbar here, we have our USB front-facing ports, meaning you always have easy access to your files. And on the right side of our panel, we have our hotkeys. These give you easy access to certain controls such as volume, power, and home screen. Sitting in the front and center of our soundbar here is our NFC sensor. NFC technology is unique to BenQ IFPs. With this technology, combined with our AMS, account management system, we're able to manage profiles. Directly from the board, I can log in directly here using a password, or I can use my own NFC card to simply tap the front sensor and log directly into my own profile. Within this, I can then customize widgets. Or customize my own apps. Also, once I've logged into my own profile, I have access to my own personalized cloud storage. With NFC, we also have our pens. These are NFC capable and they're a zero maintenance design. What this means is there's no charging or changing batteries and no pairing these devices here. Because these are NFC enabled, I can simply tap the front sensor with my NFC pen and bring up our instant whiteboard for annotation. And because the NFC pen uses NFC technology, I can just gently tap the front sensor and launch our instant whiteboard. From here, I can start whiteboarding and annotating. Within EasyWrite, there are three different modes regular pen writing mode, dual pen mode, and brush mode. With regular writing, I can tap the toolbar down here, I can select the color, and I can change the thickness of my pen. It's very fluent and easy to use. During a meeting, you may have a couple of different participants who want to annotate simultaneously within the same meeting. What we can do is go to another page, and there may be an image that you want to annotate over the top of. We can simply select our image here, scroll through our storage, pick an image we like, and send that directly to the board. Within this mode, I can also just enlarge using normal hand gestures that we're used to using on other different applications. With dual pen mode, I select the same toolbar, click the next dual pen mode, and here I can select two different colors using two different styluses. I'll get Tian to come and help me out with this one. I'll select the green color for my pen and now we can just start annotating straight over the top. And it's that simple for two people to simultaneously use the board. And the third mode is brush mode. This is great for design studios or art houses. I can replace my annotation tool here, the pen, with a brush. And this works with any paintbrush, thick or thin bristle. I'll just head to my next page. Select paintbrush on brush mode, and then I can choose different colors here. And the great thing about this is that it works just like it does in, in real life.
It's very intuitive and smooth to use. And that's brush mode. With handwriting and shape recognition, we can instantly convert our text, numbers and drawings into a digital format. And there's actually two ways we can achieve this for the BenQ RP series. I'll just head to another page. The first method is using our toolbox and selecting our easy diagram feature. Within this feature, we can annotate or design and it's great for flowcharts or organizational charts. So for that purpose in mind, I'll just do a quick chart here and I can actually write in this as well so I'll just put org chart from here I can hit identify changes it into a digital format and then I can export directly back into my easy write whiteboarding solution the second way we can do this is retrospectively so I can draw a shape here write a word and then via the select tool, I can circle this and hit the little magic one button in the bottom right hand corner. Press that and it instantly digitizes. So we've had a look at a few of the features now, but we've kind of missed out on a few more of the tools in our toolbox. We had a look at Easy Diagram, which is great for flowcharts and organizational charts. And there's a whole bunch of different tools within this toolbox. Things like calculator, stopwatches. But the one I'd like to talk about is sticky note. I'll head to our next page here. As you can see we've done up a quick timeline here revolving around the film industry and with sticky note I can select my toolbox, select sticky note and here I can use my on-screen keyboard which I can drag across to me, add another sticky note and then from here put this back onto the timeline there. It's a great way to flush out your ideas and see where, you, where you're heading as far as production goes. This is also relevant. In the past, we've used traditional whiteboards um, where we've had to stick actual sticky notes onto those whiteboards to uh, idea generate and also for collaboration. And now you can do it all in a digital format. One great thing about EasyWrite 5.0 is that we can actually change the backgrounds of our pages as well. Simply head down to our toolbar, hit the background page, and select from a wide variety of built-in backgrounds. You can also add your own custom backgrounds too. To fix up the timeline, I can simply just annotate away again. The great thing about these backgrounds is that they distinguish your pages from one to the next, and we can view our pages within Page Manager. I just click down there where our page count sits, and from here, I can see easy to read thumbnails of what we've already annotated and brainstormed. It also gives me the option to hold, and I can change the order of these pages, I can add a new page, I can duplicate, or I can delete. It gives you great control over your document and how you proceed from there. We've had a look at our whiteboarding solution, let's jump across the annotation. With EasyWrite 5.0 floating tool, we can annotate on top of any source, whether it be through HDMI, VGA, or any other digital source. Let's check it out and see how that operates. I'll start a new page here. And I'll head across to our web browser. From the web browser, I've already accessed my Google Drive and I've pulled up a PowerPoint presentation. Using two finger touch on the screen, I can bring up our floating toolbar. This has a bunch of different options around that floating toolbar. We can navigate straight into EasyWrite. I can erase, I can open a file, I can record and I can screen capture. With annotation, I can choose a color and annotate directly on top of that. With erase, simply hit erase and clear that annotation from the board. Let's annotate again in a different color or a couple of different colors. And I'll show you how screen capture works. Selecting screen capture here, it's taking into consideration the whole entire frame. If I want something specific, I can use simple hand gestures to minimize that frame. Use my points to reframe, drag out. And it gives me a couple of different options there. I can resize to full screen, I can save the file independently, or I can import this directly back into our EasyWrite program. From here, it captures the image and any annotations I've made, making it really easy to pull information from other sources back into your whiteboarding solution. With our cloud whiteboard, meeting participants can enjoy enhanced interactivity and collaboration. We can do this simply by tapping the share button here and producing a QR code. Tian, I'll get you to scan that code for me. 
Once participants have scanned this code, they can enter the cloud whiteboard and view exactly what's on the screen. From here, we have a couple of different options, broadcast and co-creation. I'll swap to a particular slide we saw earlier with our film production timeline. At the moment, Tian can view, but he cannot collaborate. If I change this to co-creation, now all meeting participants will have the ability to contribute to what's on the board already. So what I'll get Tian to do is just drop a sticky note on there with casting and place it onto the timeline there as well. As you can see, this is happening in real time and it's very intuitive and fast moving. With this, once I decide I don't want any more participants to contribute, I can change back to broadcast where it gives the owner of this board full power to continue with their presentation. The great thing about Cloud Whiteboard is that it's just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to the meeting room solution. The great thing about the Cloud Whiteboard too is that once the session's finished, I can either save this document as a PNG or a PDF, or alternatively, I can share this document with any of the participants of the Cloud Whiteboard via QR code, email, or I can even print that document out. Another aspect we need to look at is voice communication, as sometimes participants are outside of the same room in other different areas geographically. So let's look at the Blizz app for voice communication. If I go over to our Blizz app now, you can see here that we can either start a meeting from our panel or join another meeting that's already existing. If I start a meeting here, down the bottom we have our normal controls for mic, camera, and we can even share screen. You can see here that Tian's joined me. Hi Tian. And with this, we can couple it with the cloud whiteboard we looked at earlier and really bring this meeting solution full circle. So not only can Tian add to the board, but now we can voice communicate as well. And this is what we really wanted to provide with the BenQ panel, being able to collaborate in real time via video, but also via voice communication. With BenQ IFPs, we're also able to take advantage of third-party applications. For example, McAfee Mobile Security is an award-winning application that protects you against spyware, malware, and viruses. With TeamViewer, your IT team members will love being able to remotely access your panel to help you troubleshoot or show you features you may have previously missed. With VMware, you're able to remotely access your desktop directly from the IFP itself, providing a really cost-effective and efficient solution. Let's talk about internal meetings now. With BenQ's InstaQshare app, we can screen mirror on a number of platforms, including anything that's running Android, Windows, iOS, or Mac, directly to our IFP. Communication isn't a one-way street though, so not only can you screen mirror to the IFP, you can also screen mirror from the IFP to another device. Let's have a look at the app now. From this wireless display screen, you can select the guide which shows you QR codes and allows you to download the app on your specific device. We can also join on computers, so PC or Mac can enter the URL listed on the screen, unique to each panel, and join the session that way. The other option we have is presenting a QR code for any camera devices that you have, such as tablets and mobile phones, to join directly. Once you've joined, participants can engage with each other and show data and material on their own personal devices. Claudia, I'll get you to join now and screen share for us, please. As you can see, Claudia is wirelessly presenting from her own device now. We're using a Windows laptop. The great thing about InstaQshare is that I can use the floating toolbar and annotate over the material that's been provided. It's a great way to get your message across or prove a certain point or just help people visualize what we're talking about rather than just using pure voice communication. So combining both a floating toolbar and InstaQshare is a great way to present in internal meetings. The other great thing about InstaQshare is that I can actually control the PowerPoint presentation from the panel. From here, I can bring up the floating toolbar again and continue my annotation. Not only can we screen mirror from an external device, but we can actually mirror from the panel to that device as well. Claudia, I'll get you to stop screen mirroring there for me. So as you can see, Tian is controlling the panel directly from his Apple device. He's able to annotate and use all the tools available there. This provides a whole 
meeting solution and increases collaboration and inter interaction within your local meeting. Let's take a look at another one of our conferencing tools known as InstaShow. InstaShow is a plug and play device utilizing AES 128-bit encryption to connect and screen share from your own personal devices. This is a great solution for visitors who would like to participate in the meeting and share their materials, but are often burdened with network connectivity issues, username and password requirements, or security concerns. Another great feature of InstaShow is the ability for four participants to connect and quad split screen their devices, including mobile phones, tablets, and PCs. As you can see from BenQ's conference solutions, including InstaQShare, which is great for internal employees operating on the same local area network, and InstaShow, which is great for visitors providing a plug and play solution without the hassle of networking, passwords, or security concerns, Thank you have you covered when it comes to conferencing solutions. Now that we've looked at our entire suite of features for the BenQ IFP panels, let's recap about what we've spoken about previously. We spoke earlier about BYOD culture and how that's important to improve productivity within the organisation. With the BenQ IFPs, you're able to bring your own devices into the mix for your meeting room solution. Anything from mobile phones to tablets and PCs are welcome in this environment and to interact with the board and other participants in that meeting. If we move on to whiteboarding, we've had a look at EasyWrite 5.0 and the wealth of features available inside that whiteboarding solution. Anything from simple tools like calculators and sticky notes all the way through to multiple persistent collaboration. With annotation, we had a look at the floating toolbar earlier and how that's a great tool to use on top of other sources, including anything you've connected via HDMI VGA or another digital source and being able to provide an annotation solution with those sources. With collaboration, we had a look at the cloud whiteboard, adding participants and being able to collaborate in real time anywhere in the world. The other element we looked at was the Blizz conferencing software. Being able to hear someone's voice whilst you're collaborating is a big part of that meeting experience and this panel can deliver that in spades. As you can see, from all the features we've mentioned, it really is a complete solution to your meeting room requirements.